Dean, this has to stop. Just look at yourself. It can't go on. What are you babbling on about? Oh, please listen to me, mate. I'm probably your only friend. Hmm. You finally don't care for you because of the drink. You really should stop it for you and your family's sake. Listen, pal. I don't need my family. Now get out of the way and let me do my show. If you're going to carry on, I'll tell the boss. I know what she'll do. She doesn't tolerate this type of behaviour from her staff. Tell Hillary what you want. At the end of the day, I have the most listeners. She needs me to keep the station running. Whatever, mate. Just do your show, will you? And a very good morning to you, it's Tower FM. Uh, lots going up for you today, but I'll tell you that straight after this. Hi. So, uh, how was your day? It's been alright. I didn't do much really. I've just been working. I'm on my break now though. You know what, I don't think you realise, but for the last week you've been really off with me to a hellish degree. Can you exactly explain to me why? What are you talking about? Look, I don't care. I just don't want to talk about it or tolerate it anymore, okay? You're just a liar and a scrounger. Says you, who lied about having children. Oh, right, me. I see. What about your phone? I've seen your phone, haven't I? Your sweet little silly text to your stupid bo floozy boyfriend. I can't believe you'd actually go with a slum like him and actually leave someone as decent with as me. You know what? I think we should just call it off right now. Yeah, do you know what? I think we should end it. All right, okay. Here's your key. Later. <laughs> Farewell. Yeah, my, my mum's making me. Well, that's the exact reason why I am here. But if you're sure, then I suppose I could show you around. Well, thanks a lot. Right. Fantastic five there, and everybody get up. It's Tower FM, Scott here with you, right through till 10 o'clock. Right, still to come the competition, and much, much more straight after this from S Club 7. Um, I've, um, I've just spoken to Hillary, and, um, She'll be in about 20 minutes, so why don't you get yourself toilet out a bit, pal? And um, I don't really want to see her looking like this. Anyway, it'd be nice to see her. I haven't seen her in a while. Well, I don't think you should, you should tidy yourself up a bit. I mean, uh, I, don't want you, I don't want you to look a mess in front of her. A mess? Come on, pal, this, this is how I am. Do you want to see me? This is how she'll see me. You reek of whiskey. I can't actually see that, but uh, I don't even care. Well, she could sack you. <laughs> Sack me? No, no, actually, she can't even do that. What are you talking about? Right, mate. She'll be here in five minutes or so, so just sort yourself out a bit, pal, all right? Pal. Whatever. Hey, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine, you? I'm good. Need some water. You can't have run out already. Come on, you know I've had a tough week. Be fair. You have to wait until later, then. That's fine, thanks. So, what have you been up to? Not a lot. You? Yeah. Same, really. Oh, that's nice. You know that new girl? I'd hate to be here. What new girl? The new girl you showed around. Stupid. Don't call me stupid. Harmony, are you talking about? What, what's happened? What's wrong with her? Sorry, there's nothing wrong with her, but she's upset, Hillary. Oh, so you couldn't have what she done? Don't know, but Hillary was mad. Oh, God, is she all right? This is Hillary we're talking about. How poor Harmony nearly got up smack. Oh, God. Harmony was really upset. Went off crying. Oh, she'll be okay. I'll give her something to cheer up. Hey. Look, basically, I'm just calling for you to, um, you need to come to the house as soon as you can and you need to pick up your clothes, your jewellery and your DVDs and your videos and whatever. Look, no, no, don't be confused by me. Don't, don't talk to me like that. The point is, okay, there is no coming back, Hillary. That, the point is the relationship between you and I is over. I don't play mind games. I'm not like that. Yeah, yeah, and you see, from now on, it's just me and my son, okay? Face it, nobody else comes into my life. He's my number one priority. I don't know what the hell you are. Look, you're mental, okay? You provoked me, okay? Just 
just don't talk to me like that anymore because I can't handle it, okay? Oh, and uh, by the way, don't worry about me cheating on you anymore because uh, I'm over with women. It's like a guy said, don't try and understand females because they're mental. You're a megalomaniac, all right. Okay, bye. All I did was walk past them, minding my own business. You didn't say anything? Not even, you didn't give them a dirty look, did you? No. Oh, well, anyway, take this. It made you feel better. My mum will kill me. She won't find out, will she?